I'm here to talk to you a little bit about GoGrid SSD cloud servers. These are our new cloud servers and they've just come out. I'm really excited about them because there's something just a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Now, to start, let me tell you a little bit about what we've done in the past. So let's talk about our standard cloud servers. So if you know anything about virtual machines and standard cloud servers, you know that you have a virtual machine that you can get on demand, right? The advantage there is that when you want to scale up your application, you can just scale these little suckers out one at a time infinitely in a few minutes, right? So if you need to go from one server up to 5, 10, 15, 20, or even 100 servers on GoGrid, you can do that with just the click of a button in just a few minutes. You can imagine what that saves you in time um, and what you get back if you compare that to traditional hardware, right? With traditional hardware, what you have is a situation where you actually have to order it, it takes a lot of time to provision it, and you just don't get the advantage of being able to spin things up and spin, spin things down. These traditional cloud servers, what we call our standard cloud servers, are perfect for development and test, for example, right? If you need to quickly spin things up, iterate on an application, iterate on your code, and then throw a bunch of these away, you can do that, and you only pay by the hour. That's great. But when you start getting into performance and you want something really beefy, say you're going to run um, you know, a SQL database and you want things that are you know, working in conjunction with block storage, you need a little bit of a different architecture. So let me show you that. This is going to look like this. You're going to have typically a set of servers or a cluster that you're going to deploy. And then you're going to link to a storage environment. This will be a block storage environment. On GoGrid, you can provision your block storage on, on demand by provisioning a volume. Each volume attaches to these servers. If you're connecting to our standard servers, you're going to get you know, just the generic vanilla run-of-the-mill standard servers. And they go from a 1 gigabyte server to about a 24 gig server. And that's 24 gigs of RAM, right? With our SSDs, what we realize is that customers who are running databases, they wanted something a lot bigger. So we enabled our SSDs to go from 2 gigs all the way up to 64 gigs. So what you get with SSDs uh, is a lot higher performance. The storage is persistent and there's no more spinning disk to worry about. So you're able to retrieve data from memory quite a bit faster than you could with traditional servers. Um, and the cool thing about the way that we've op optimized this on GoGrid is that we've optimized for block storage. So the route to access block storage on GoGrid takes fewer hops than it does in other people's architectures. We've done this intentionally because we know people are going to want to run databases on these SSDs. We know they're going to need to access block. And we've done a few cool things with our network too. We've actually eliminated all single points of failure in the network. So for this high performance tier, what you're getting is 10G redundant network fabric that allows you lightning fast speed to, to block storage. That allows you to run your database in a way that you haven't been able to before. Better performance than what you're going to get on, on bare metal and much better performance than you're going to see anywhere else in the cloud. And that's it. That's all I got today.